What do the new limited zombie crate towers do? Well, in this video you're about to find out, and that begins in... 3, 2, 1... Welcome back to Bean Gaming, everyone. I brought along my buddy Frosty, so go check him out. He just did a video yesterday with Spike, and go check his video out because that was really sweet. I'll put a link in the description down below. That way you can check out his videos and stuff. But yeah, we're going to take a look at Toxaberry Hazard, Cyber Skull, Death Singer, and no, not Spectral Dragon. I've, I swear I've spent like 30 billion Robux, and I still do not have the Spectral Dragon. But once the marketplace opens back up, I'm hoping I can find someone to be able to purchase Spectral Dragon. But I'm super excited. Guess what I got on my Death Singer Frosty? This is sweet. What'd you get, Bean? De I got Death Singer. Check this out. I got Eternal Glory literally like 10 minutes ago. So we're gonna wow. find out how overpowered Death Singer is. All right, we're gonna do Zombie Suburbia here. We're gonna drop it down to level one. Go ahead and vote it. On in, and we're gonna try nightmare mode again. We're gonna see if we can hold. I th wave one is gonna be actually wave one to three is probably gonna be about the hardest because I don't have my Terra Titan. So Frosty, if you're gonna put your Terra Titans, that's probably gonna hold. I'm gonna put my Cyber Skulls. They're no rank, so it's gonna be a little bit harder. Which Come actually, on right here, it should be pretty good. Let me get out my Moon Staff. Maybe my Moon Staff will be able to help. It's not actually I'm not. not it's, yeah, it's actually not helping much at all. See, so. good thing about that is I already got Spike in. He's over putting the work in. Good job, Spike. Yo, Spike. Just, oh fine. wow, that's great. I know we're gonna take some damage right away. Yeah, we will. Not 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 a, not a, not much damage, but not too bad, though. Good job, Spike. I'm gonna have to fast click. That's the nice thing about AOE towers. Right in the beginning, is because you're getting all that. I mean, you're getting so much help. They're taking out multiple enemies. Mm-hmm. If I can get to that 55. Oh, I'm at 55 now. There's my Eternal Glory. Look at her. Yeah, there's mine now. Oh, look at that damage. Woo. Mine's, not, mine's not exactly Eternal Glory. It's only battle, uh, battle ready, but pretty good. So who we got? Um, oh, goodness. I can only match. Ah, 200. Tier 2 does 201,000. I know. 119.7 and then 120. Now she's doing 200,000. Like, come on, man. Like, don't sleep on these uh, zombies, guys. They're pretty good. No. <laughs> It's just those mobs that keep coming out. How many can you uh, set down with these Cyber Skulls? Are these all yours? I think one of them is mine, but that's a lot of Cyber Skulls. Yeah, yeah, I think you get six placements for those. And it's actually wow. really good. It's super cheap to place. And mm -hmm. I have there's no rank on them. And 16,800, that's before the Mutant and Dominus boost. Yeah. So that's a, actually a really good starting unit. It really is. What are we at? I need 250,000 more for my Death Singer. And I definitely want to try it. There we go. So now I'm at 500. There, she's maxed out. Look at this. 315,000 for an Eternal Glory Death Singer. Like, come on, man. If you're new to the game and you get a Death Singer and you throw that Eternal Glory on her, you literally have the best DPS tower in the game. I'm not even kidding. A uh, one cooldown is amazing, especially 165 range. It almost reaches from the entrance to the uh, uh, the end. That's insane. I know. Look at that. Crazy. Okay, I just put down a couple. How many how many toxic beards can you put down? I have like 57 of them, so I should be able to put down 57 of them. Let me see. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. Okay, you can only place down five toxic beards, but I'm able to. I completely max them all out now. And they do damage as well. They do 14 damage every half of a second. So they're doing 28 damage, but they come out every 12 seconds. So, Frosty, you're just going to see these Toxic Bears just line up the street here. Every 12 seconds? That's pretty decent. Yeah. That's not a bad cooldown. It's not a bad cooldown whatsoever. And Rage Claw is awesome. I love his uh, Toxic Bears thing. It's like a little den, like a little cave thing. That's pretty cool how they did that. Yeah, and you can see the green, like, mutant slime coming out of his mouth. Like, he's, he's, you oh, know. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. They really did really good with these, uh, these new zombie units. Now, I have two Rage Claws. One of them is Force of Nature. The other one's Golden Might. But I figure, since this is full AoE, that Force of Nature is going to be better. And right now, he's doing 210,000. Which, again, if you're a new player to World Defenders, and you get those free crates, and you end up getting a... Uh, like, a, like, like I said, a Death Singer, 
completely awesome. Now, Rage Claw, that was the tower that you won from having all five of the bears, so you would have to trade for that one, but it's still an absolutely amazing tower. Okay, let's put down... I'm putting down my hazard right now, and these Toxa bears are just running over me. I can't see. So, hazard, he's doing... 168,000 every five seconds. I don't think it's an AOE tower at all. It might be a single DPS tower. Let's find out when the next enemy comes out if he can target it. Yeah, he just he's just so slow. I think it's a single target, if I'm not mistaken. So usually with those single target towers that are so slow like that, you want to set them to strongest. That's the best way to do those. And I can place down three. I can place down four. I can only place down four, but my heroes have been maxed out. So let me get rid of a few of these Toxa Bears here. Because they're not the they're not the show today. The show is my Eternal Glory Death Singer. Because I want to put down my mutant Indominus. So now take a look at this Frosty. Put your click on Death Singer now. Look at how much damage she's doing per second. Four hundred nine thousand five hundred. Wow. Can you believe that? Yeah, that's insane. That's crazy. Did I put everyone else down? I think I did. So Death Singer's the yeah. star of the show today, man. You even lifted up my spike. Now he's doing 429,000. Yeah, that uh, then Dominus is pretty beefy because where he boosts so much on his boost. But look at the health. Goodbye, Red End Zombie. And easy as that, guys. Yeah, man. super easy. That's awesome. So let's get some brains here. How many did you get? I got 151. 158 for some reason, I don't know why. Okay, yeah, they randomized that. But you get that four-game win streak going, and that actually mm -hmm. boosts the brains, so you can get around 250 brains when you're on that four-game win streak, so that's pretty cool. We're going to quit back to the lobby. All right, we're back here in the lobby, and as far as the marketplace is concerned, we were all hoping the marketplace would open back up last Friday, so we're going to cross our fingers, and hopefully we can get the marketplace opened up, because I really want that Spectral Dragon to complete my set. Yeah, everyone go check out Frosty's stuff, man. He is just posting videos, like, constantly for a bunch of different power defense games, just games in general. So he's got some good stuff. So I appreciate you joining me today, Frosty. It was fun. No problem. It was good. So if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.